It's your boy Big Baby. Support sporting icons for latest boxing news. Cheeseburger. So reading around on like my comment section, other people's comment section, and what other people are saying in their videos, um, other professional fighters around, and that most notably Prince Nassim Hamid saying that Chris Eubank Jr. needs to retire after that performance and whatever. It's like it does kind of appear that a lot of people saying that Chris Eubank Jr. he's a hype job and he just isn't an elite fighter on this kind of thing and that's fair enough you know I'm kind of guilty of it myself but I think what a lot of people are starting to overlook is the performance by George Groves now it wasn't a pretty performance definitely flawed uh, but he put on a very very good performance his game plan was spot on he knew how to nullify Chris Eubank Jr. Um, I could certainly see why a lot of people say it because I you know, I said it myself that maybe he's just not as good as what him and his father would portray him to be. Now, of course, he definitely needs a trainer. I think that's unanimous, even for the most hardened Chris Eubank Jr. fans, to say that he needs a proper trainer and he needs to actually listen to him. Um, he's got Ronnie Davis. He's an excellent trainer. He trained his father. So he really does need to either let Ronnie Davis take over or, as I said yesterday, maybe go to... America, he's very good friends with Floyd Mayweather and the money team team, if you like. So maybe you can go over there with um, Jeff Mayweather or um, Floyd Senior and let them take him under their wing, if you like, and maybe have a couple of fights out in America on some like um, undercards here and there. Kind of like live the life of a boxer, as in learn to box. He can do it, he's got the skills, he's, he's not a bum. Okay, and he is above British level. For me, he's above British level. It wouldn't be such a bad idea, actually, if he was to go and fight Tommy Langford for the British middleweight title, as in drop back down to 160 and go face off against Tommy Langford. That would be an interesting fight. Tommy Langford's a very good fighter. But I do feel that a lot of people are kind of like taken away from what George Groves did. And for me, I think George Groves needs a bit more credit than what he's been getting. That's just my opinion, of course. Um, because he did come in there with a game plan, which was to keep Chris Eubank Jr. on the outside. And whenever Jr. wants to come on the inside, if you like to try and get into George Groves' pocket and unload on him, he he grabbed him. Now, there were some headbutts flying here, there and everywhere. Chris Eubank Jr. did get hurt, and he did show the heart of a warrior. Um, Senior talks about being a warrior quite a lot and junior he he did show that he showed a lot of heart in that and i haven't given up on him and as british fans i think that uh, we should all still support him and encourage him um to progress even further i mean people like prince nazim hamid while again i can understand his frustration because he bought into the hype like a lot of people did i mean okay so i picked george Groves to win and to win the tournament as well um, um in the very beginning but like I said, I wouldn't have been disappointed had Junior have won that fight last night. And certainly I wouldn't be disappointed if Callum Smith was to win the tournament. But George Groves is, of course, my pick. That's what I picked and that's what I'm sticking with. So, as a British fighter, um, I don't want to be throwing him under the bus. I can understand people's frustration because, yeah, of course, the hype, he didn't live up to it. But, of course, George Groves... His game plan nullified that kind of hype. So again, I think George Groves needs a lot more credit than maybe what he's getting rather than people just saying New Bank Jr. was crap. I think that's, for me, a fair thing to say. Prince now see him saying that Chris Bank Jr. needs to retire. He's 28 years old, man. And again, I understand what Prince Nazim is saying um, with the sense that, you know, he was disappointed. But retire at 28 years old? Come on, man. I mean, I know that Prince Nazim doesn't like Chris Bank Sr., but, you know what, he's 28 years old, like I said, he's still got a few years left in the game. If he, if he's to look after himself, then he could potentially have another 10 years left in the game. So for me, retirement? No, definitely not retirement. Um, he's an excellent skilled fighter. He's a brawler, very, very fast hands. He just needs to learn to box and be a bit smart. That's all he needs to do, which is why I'm saying somebody like a Jeff Mayweather, who is like a defensive trainer if you like he starts at the basics of defense is the first line if you like so for me i think jeff mayweather would be a very good coach if not like 
uh, someone like Virgil Hunter. Of course, I'm talking abroad. I do believe that maybe he should go abroad, get away from everything, leave his father behind. It's time for Chris Eubank Sr. to realise that his way is not the right way. But of course, Senior is very stubborn and Junior will listen to him. Of course, he's his father. He's going to do that. But for the good of his son's career, I think, of course, I advise him, but certainly let somebody else train him. And and I maybe send him back to Vegas, if you like, with, uh, with uh, the money team. So anyway, going back to the original point, I think George Groves deserves a lot more credit than what he's getting. People say, well... Now, in hindsight, it was an obvious result. George Groves is bigger, more experienced, all this kind of thing. But, of course, remember, leading up to the fight, it wasn't. It was a very, very 50 fight where even the bookies had Junior as the favourite to win. But because he didn't live up to the hype, people are throwing cold water over Chris Eubank Jr. and not bigging up George Groves. So, for me, I think George Groves deserves a bit more credit. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it all. You drop me yours, as in, where do you think... Junior should go now. Do you think that maybe he should leave his father behind? Um, maybe stay here and allow Ronnie Davis to properly take over rather than just be his spitbuck carrier? Um, or maybe he should go over to Floyd Mayweather, um, Virgil Hunter, Freddie Roach, somebody abroad. Or do you think maybe he should try and go back to like Adam Booth or somebody like that? But again, anybody in the UK, like, like Adam Booth, um, has pretty much said, although he hasn't out, out and out said it, that the reason that he let Junior go before was because uh, Senior was around and kept interfering. So maybe in the UK, a lot of coaches are going to have that problem that Senior is overbearing. But anyway, drop your thoughts below as to what you feel Junior should do. Do you think that maybe George Groves deserves a lot more credit than what he's getting because people are too focused on the performance of Junior and not really looking at the performance of George Groves. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.